Hey Yankee fans, yet again, this is Felix from NYNews.com. Hey Yankees fans, I heard that Brian Cashman was getting a lot of heat for saying that the Yankees were an underdog. I agree with him, man. The Yankees are making a stride to stay under the luxury tax. Obviously, if the Yankees wanted to, they'll have a payroll of like $300 million per year. So they are basically the underdog. Last year, we all saw that the Yankees went with a youth movement. And the Red Sox were considered the Golden State Warriors of Major League Baseball. And can still be that. Stop sleeping on the Red Sox. I know we're Yankees fans. I know that's the thing. We need to hate the Red Sox. But be a Major League Baseball fan first. We know we all love baseball. Let's be fans of baseball first. What Brian Cashman is saying is true. The Yankees as of now don't have that top solid rotation to go out there and let's say shut down a Houston Astro team. Shut down a Cleveland Indian team. Shut down a Red Sox team. And people keep telling me, oh, what about the playoffs last year? A lot of things went right for the Yankees, folks, and a lot of things went wrong for these other teams. People, all these other teams that I just mentioned were supposed to mop the floor with the Yankees. I am taking a safe route, just as Brian Cashman is as well, by saying, let's not get too excited about this ball club. Let's see what they can do. And if you ask me, that's a good tactic that Brian Cashman has taken. It is a perfect battle strategy. Perceiving that you're an underdog so teams can claim that you're an underdog. Perceive you as an underdog. It's better that the Yankees don't have that target on their backs. And yeah, I can see where Brian Cashman is coming from. He is a perfectionist. He's putting together a masterpiece. Perfectionists are like that. They put something together. Some other person's eyes can perceive it as a work of art. But the artist, looking at his own art, will look at it and say, "Uh, I don't know, man. This is not finished. And Brian Cashman is the same way. Lucky for us that we have a general manager that sees it like that. Imagine a general manager that knows he needs to add another starting pitcher to his rotation, saying, no, we have a solid team. We're going to compete for that World Series title. And then we all know that's not the case because you need to add a starting pitcher. In my opinion as well, the Yankees need to add either a starting pitcher or another offensive player to their lineup. Folks, this is just absolutely driving me insane how the Yankees, out of all players, decided that they were going to choose Drury as their third baseman. Yankees fans keep disagreeing with me, saying that he's a utility player. No, he's not. He's going to be your future third baseman. Okay? Sure, I love Drury. I think he's a great player. He has the height. He has the build. I heard he's a great player in the clubhouse. I heard he has fire within himself to compete. He also grew up as a Yankees fan. Wow, what can't you like about that? Like I keep saying, that wasn't the piece of the puzzle that the Yankees needed to fill. The Yankees needed to go out and get another player that's going to contribute offensively, like let's say on a Gary Sanchez level on a Mike Moustakas level, on a Manny Machado level. Sure, it sounds like we're spoiled, but if you paid attention to last year, the Yankees went out and got to Frazier for that same exact reason, folks. And if you ask me, they had made a slight improvement from last year's ball club. So what's going to separate them from being different from last year's ball club. We all know 
the Astros have a crazy rotation. We all know the Red Sox have a crazy rotation. We all know the Indians have a crazy rotation. You're going to tell me that the Yankees lineup can't get shut down come the playoffs or come a series that they need to win when facing teams like that? Folks, the only logical solution to that is, like I said, add that offensive player that can bring you over the hump. Add that starting pitcher that can bring you over the hump. One of those two. And yeah, the Yankees haven't done that. So that's where I'm coming from, folks. People might say I sound like a hater, but that's not the piece of the puzzle the Yankees needed to add to this team this year. And now, like I said, the Yankees probably lost out on Manny Machado. Because like I said, you needed to get him now and plug him in at third base and leave him there. So yeah, Brian Cashman knows this. He knows the Yankees are still an underdog. There's better teams out there. Offense doesn't make your team. Pitching does. But in some cases, if your offense is just out of this world, the rotation that the Yankees have currently can sustain teams like that. So yeah, I agree with Brian Cashman. The Yankees in 2018, as of now, listen to that word, now, are underdogs. So Yankees fans, I hope you like Peter Samonetti's Rush Limbaugh impression. He did a great job on his audio. He's going to make more of those. He's going to upload it on his official page, YouTube channel, The Samonetti Source. He's going to make a Facebook page. Follow him on there as well and on Twitter. So like always, folks, this has been Felix from NewsCom. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.